Martin Troxler is next, and uh, he wants you to take a closure walk. And uh, in, in my corner of the universe, which is pretty Microsoft focused, we have STL, who is STL, and MT, as you can tell, does mostly multi-threaded problems on real-time systems for industrial manufacturing machines. Okay. Now uh, I'm talking about uh, how you can pass return values up the stack without uh, effectively know their uh, type. Now, why would you use such a thing? Uh, if you write a kind of wrapper function, uh, we saw this pattern, uh, for example, yesterday on the legacy uh, talk, uh, where it was used to <coughs> to try uh, except, uh, to catch exceptions uh, before they were thrown out into code that uh, cannot work with uh, exceptions. So you basically uh, call a function within a, a try block, or you make a scoped context. It could be a something like a mutex, or even a very complex uh, database uh, access. Why did I uh, not choose to make it this call within function as a template? Because it would be faster, uh, the complete type of the, the given function would be uh, deducible but the, the reason is that we want to decouple the, the implementation of this <coughs> uh, call within function. That is also the reason that I have to use a std function to erase the concrete type. <coughs> now, the, to uh, come to the real problem, if you want to call a function that returns a value how would you achieve to pass that value up to the stack uh, so we, we can just call within function and use that uh, result value? A simple solution would be to simply define the same return type. But it's a stupid solution and uh, <coughs> makes not much sense. Now, the first step is to declare the return, mimic a template function, and de declare the return type uh, to be the same as that of the given function. You can use a decal type and uh, uh, call the function, but it's not, not really a call. Uh, it's just the, the type deduction mechanism deduces the, the type of the return value of this function. It even doesn't matter how many parameters this function, or this lambda, or this call ex callable expression has. Uh, <clears throat> another step is to separate the implementation uh, into a an, an concrete function. But this version does not compile, because a uh, call within impl requires a void function. The next step is to declare a result, um, local variable that has the same type as the return type. Then uh, we define a wrapper function, a lambda expression, that uh, captures this result variable by reference. In this wrapper function, we call this original given function and store it in this uh, captured result variable. Next step is to actually call the wrapper function. It is now possible because the, the return type of the wrapper is the same as that was uh, expected as from a call within impl. And at the end, we return the, the result we 
uh, we have saved previ previously. The nice thing is that with the C++ uh, move constructors, we actually do, don't uh, do any copying of, of values. Just uh, tries uh, a move. Uh, we can put everything within a, a interface class and <coughs> yeah. now uh, this solution is not perfect because what happens if you want to call a function that returns void? The compiler would give us the following errors uh, because the result type is void we cannot, uh, the, re the return type is void, we cannot declare a uh, variable of this type. But with a bit uh, of simple uh, metaprogramming, we can uh, switch between two versions. If it's the, the return type void, we choose the, the upper version with, uh, which, which does, doesn't return anything. And if it's, the, it's another type, then we return <coughs> the result. Now, there, was, there is another problem. Uh, if you want to, uh, if the, the implementation itself can fail. For example, this uh, open connection, this might fail, and you want to return this uh, information back to the caller. So we can, one variant to solve this problem is to choose a, to use a boost optional and to wrap the result type within. If, <coughs> if uh, the, the implementation had a failure, we return boost none uh, and, and uh, the original caller has to check the result value if it was none. If it was okay, then it has to dereference the, the actual value. Well, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>